Okay, greetings everyone. Fourth question. And that is, what sits firmly between the instincts and the intellect? And so I'm going to read some comments here because I think we're onto something, guys. We're not discovering anything new or anything. It's just I think this is a nice uh, way to really try to think deeply about this and, and, and understand what's really uh, what seems to be running the show here. So I'm going to read a few comments. Um, so here's a comment from Maniacal Foreigner. Uh, Self-preservation is not quite the same as what most of us would call self-awareness, though. Very few animals pass the mirror test, and even human infants fail it until a certain age. Okay, so we're talking about, you know, awareness and where intellect meets instinct, and, of course, awareness is going to play into that, so that makes perfect sense. Um, and then someone else chimed in, BW. 3372 says maybe the difference between a human and animal ego is the human one is capable of more choices an animal ego may be more automatic while a human has knowledge of good and evil so to speak and can try and go about survival in more moral or aesthetic ways than an animal i think the answer to that's actually surprising um at least from what i've thought um and then I made a few comments, uh, I made a few replies to those comments. Um, and one thing I found today, which is an article in the scientific literature that came out literally yesterday. And I wasn't even looking for this. I just stumbled upon it today reading some other stuff. Was that uh, a scientific uh, from scientific reports, uh, it says... Or from, sorry, this is from Nature. Um, it says that cleaner fish with mirror self-recognition capacity precisely realize their body size based on their mental image. So I'll just read a little bit of the abstract. Uh, animals exhibiting mirror self-recognition, MSR, are considered self-aware. However, studies on their level of self-awareness remain inconclusive. Recent research has indicated the potential for cleaner fish. Now, these are just the fish they studied, by the way, to possess a sophisticated level of private self-awareness. <laughs> it literally came out yesterday, published September 11th, 2024. Um, so I'm just kind of going through. So um, I'm thinking about that, and I'm thinking, okay, how is it that a fish is going to appear, appear now to to uh, pass the mirror self-recognition uh, test, the mirror test. And then, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the study, it says essentially that fish have a mental image of their body size. And I realized, well, that's vitally important if we're talking about survival, right? We're, go we're going back to survival because, uh, and, and this, again, I'm grappling with this this notion of where does the survival instinct end and you know intellect begin not not only a human animal but where does where does instinct end and awareness begin because awareness has many levels it doesn't necessarily uh, have anything to do or it doesn't have to have anything to do with intellect so if you think about the cleaner fish and it apparently according to the study it has a uh, self-image, a mental self-image of its size. But if you think from a survival standpoint, that makes perfect sense because, well, one, if you think, well, it has to know what's, what's bigger than it so it can not be eaten. It also has to know what's smaller than it so that it can know what it can eat. Um, it has to know its size in relation to, or its, its size in relation to other creatures. Maybe it's swimming in a school of fish and it has to have a mental image of its own size in order just to have some sort of, uh, each of these fish will have to have a reasonable um, sense 
of its own size, its its immediate proximity so that it can move and respond to stimulus in a school appropriately. There's many, many reasons, but I think they all drill down to the same thing, which is survival. Now, um, I'm going to read a couple more comments and then I'm going to go into um, what I think, at least maybe the next step of this question, what I think might be going on, but you know, obviously not the ultimate answer because that's not possible. Uh, let's see. So and your comments have been really great, by the way. So uh, BW 3372 remarks, uh, the highest spiritual faculties would be completely separate from the instincts mind, but still be able to influence them. Like how the sunrise over a lake will cast a long and inverted reflection over the water. Um, yeah. And then I made the comment that um, these things aren't really separate and that in fact, um, sunlight, uh, is the water in a sense. Um, also in the scientific literature, uh, light does create matter. So that's actually recently been proven, which is very, very interesting. Um, anyway, let, let me go to the next comment here. I know I grabbed this one for a reason. Okay. Joel, uh, Joel M seven, seven, seven is jumping into discussion and um, Joel says, if I was to have another attempt at this, I would say our sense of meaning is involved here. I think that's, I think that's important. Instinct alone does not give us a sense of meaning to one's life or to our lives. Uh, intelligence combined with instinct inform us on how we perceive the world. So, um, Yes. So, you, so you're making, you know, we're, I think it's fair that we're making this connection with instinct and, and intelligence because that's important. Our sense of meaning and unique individual sense of purpose differentiate us from the animal kingdom. Um, and then I go on to, uh, to reply to that uh, by saying, uh, while meaning is important, I think it's, it can be adding noise to the signal of the continuum of base instinct and the intellect, meaning um, is value, valuing significance, which comes later, right? So meaning would be more post intellect in a sense, if that makes sense. So I'm going to get into kind of what this middle ground is. Basically, I want to, um, at least to this point, just kind of reframe and then I'll offer my kind of thoughts so far on what, what's developed and then see what you guys think. So we have this survival instinct. We have this base instinct. And let's imagine that's a continuum all the way up to the intellect and the various levels of the intellect, which there are many, I'm sure. What do we have between there, though? What sort of uh, mediator or what sort of um, um, middle ground do we have? And I, and I would say that that's the intuition. Now, it's not so obvious to me yet let's say where the instinct ends the intuition begins or where the intuition ends and the intellect begins but i think that i think that it is this intuition that is that is running the show okay intellect's not running the show not not by a long shot and so i think this I think what's shared between all of the creatures, you could even call it like, uh, I mean, there's, there's like base instinct, of course, but then, you know, the base instinct is something that keeps the individual creature uh, running in its individualness, let's say. But then... There needs to be some some way to navigate reality that's above and beyond the absolute blind instincts of just you know raw survival and just kind of the day to day operations of the creature interacting with the world, uh, learning, um, getting more information about the world, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, because creatures spend most of their time doing that, right? They don't spend most of their time procreating. Um, or uh, eating or, you know, doing all of the necessary functions of survival. 
but most of the time there is this um, navigating of reality uh, e e either you know whether it's something like uh, resting searching sleeping whatever those modes are um, there's whenever those interactions with reality occur, which is, I mean, it's always happening, but with other creatures, especially with other creatures that have awareness. But I think that the intuition between um, the survival, the base instinct and the intellect, I think is, is actually kind of the, um, kind of the broker of the entire deal. So let me know what you guys think about that, because to me, it feels like, because the intuition is just a knowing without rationality, which is very interesting, right? You can know things from your intuition and not even explain them rationally and still be correct. An animal can do the same thing. An animal can, it's, it's this spooky sort of thing where, you know, an animal can't rationalize but it knows that if it sees you all the time and you're not threatening and maybe you feed it or, you know, you, you don't seem dangerous and it gets used to your presence, an animal, a wild, even a wild animal, I've, I've experienced this myself, a wild animal getting used to your presence, it's still a wild animal, still running on instinct, but then it has a sense of one person being safe and all others that it doesn't know. And it doesn't, how does it, how does it, you know, like, for example, I had a neighbor who would feed wild deer and it only got, and it only got to the point where he could do it because they were, the same deer would come through and they were used to him. But with anyone else, the deer were very standoffish and they didn't get close to you. But with this man, the deer would walk up. Well, how, the deer can't rationalize. And yet the deer has, uh, and the deer isn't, isn't, you know, running off a of pure instinct because that doesn't account for the fact that it can recognize one person um, as safe, but then once it doesn't recognize it just instinctively, I'm using that word, but it intuitively, I would say, it intuitively knows that um, for some reason it's, it's, it's recognized a certain um, person as being safe and allows it to, um, to hand feed it. Whereas other people doesn't, it, it doesn't really allow that. It will allow that if other people are around that person, but, but people by themselves without this person that it's used to, definitely they won't come around. I've seen it happen. So there's some sort of in, intuition happening that almost is like a bridge, isn't it? It's like a bridge between the intellect and the raw instincts. So let me know what you guys think about that.